Hello, this video is going to show you how to take daily attendance and use Google Sheets to filter those attendance for today's date. I'm also going to demonstrate how to use conditional formatting to help you easily see who's present and who's absent that day. You can also do this doing lunch number count, daily check-ins, things like that. Here's my Google form and it's my daily attendance form. So I will probably have my students as they come into class, fill this out for me. And then down at the bottom, how are you doing today? So I have like a little check-in if they want me to know anything. And then a comments, questions, concerns. So if I come to the attendance sheet, these are all of my students that have filled in since last week. Nobody has checked in today yet because I wanna show you that in my daily attendance tab, so I created this tab in my Google form response sheet. I created this daily attendance tab and when I come here, I'm going to have whoever is present and filled out the form show up in this column, whatever they responded with for their check-in here. And then of course, time, date, stamp. And then over here, I placed this roster in here in alphabetical order so it was easy for me to put that into my student information system and I have them highlighted in yellow right now. And there's a reason I have them highlighted in yellow. So once I fill in my attendance forms for today, you'll see what happens with the conditional formatting I placed over here. And that yellow is conditional formatting. What I'm gonna do now is fill in this form as if I were my student. And so I've done one attendance so far. So if I come back over to my Google Sheet, you see George Washington popped in here present. You see what happened to the conditional formatting. So I know everybody in yellow is still absent so far or has not completed the form yet. Then I have a little check in here and I have it color coded so it stands out to me. Like I'm gonna fill this form out a couple more times and then show you how I set this all up. Before I finish putting all of my attendance in with my students, I just want to show you as I put Ruby Bridges in here and do the check-in and I click submit, she falls in, she gets pulled right through here. But here's the actual form response sheet. So she's actually at the bottom over here and I have all my other dates here as well. Because I use the formula, Ruby gets pulled into this main daily attendance spreadsheet for today's attendance. Here is another entry that you can see in real time. Susan Anthony's going in, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more students to my attendance list. And another thing I wanna point out is because of the way I have the formula written, they come in alphabetical order here by first name. That is why Abraham Lincoln entered in the first line up here rather than falling in at the bottom line. But if I go back to my original response sheet, he's way down here on the list. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a few more people and then I can show you the formulas and conditional formatting. I've completed putting in attendance for the day. And as you can see, here's my so-called completed attendance. I could do this periodically. I can do this in the morning if I'm elementary and even include a lunch count. So this would be really simple to do for those students. But here's all the kids who are present who filled out the form for me. And then what's left is the conditional formatting for these four individuals, these four students are, I know are absent today. And then I can do a rough check here because I could look at anything that's in red and I can say to myself, okay, I need to check in on those two individuals. And if I need to check any comments or questions for those two, maybe they added comments or questions, I can come over here and I'll look at Ruby Bridges for period one, uh, Ruby Bridges, and no, she did not add any comments, questions, or concerns. Now, how did I get this done? Why well, did my normal form, had my normal Google form here. Mm -hmm. I sent the form out like I normally would because my students have iPads. I would probably do a QR code for when they come into class every day. But if not, I could have this linked in my LMS, Google Classroom, Blackboard, Canvas, whatever you're using. And they can just fill this out daily as they walk into class. And then I came over to the responses and got my response sheet. And that's what this is right here. And then of course, I renamed this to match it for my class period for the day. If I have multiple class periods, I would have multiple sheets down here for class periods. One of the first things I did was name my data range. Because I want all of this to be included, I just went ahead and clicked on this upper left square and just selected the entire sheet. I came up to data and selected named ranges, and then I went ahead and named it period one. As you can see, that's different than what I named it here because I have a space between the D and the one. You don't have to name your range, especially if you're doing an entire sheet. You may not want to spend the time to name the range. I did just to make it easier when I wrote my formula. In order to create this extra tab, I went ahead and added 
from the plus sign here and created an extra sheet. And then I just renamed it my daily attendance. And I'm just gonna name that two so I can do it. In this first cell here in my daily attendance, you can see this big long formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and just show you if all I have to do is type that formula in here and it pulls it all in. I did a little extra formatting so it's easier for me to read. Let's talk about this formula. I'm using the query function. That's why it's equals query. When we start inside the parentheses, the first piece of data is period one. That period one relates to the named range we did at the very beginning of this video. Then the next section, we're going to use select columns B, C, and A. And notice here, I want columns B, C, and A. I'm not asking for column D. I figured with column D, I didn't need it pulled over. If there was any student who had, would love it if you checked in on me, I would just come back to the original sheet and look and see if they had any comments, questions, or concerns. And then then we want to say where column A is greater than today's date. And so we're using the text and today function and the order of the date here. So I'm always pulling through only entries for today's date. Remember, column A is the time date stamp. I'm only getting March 9th dates pulling through. And then the last thing, it's not necessary, but you can include it. But for this purpose, I just wanted to show it. I have it ordered by column B. So column B is the name, but I have it ordered by column B so that one's falling in A first and that is ascending. I have them in alphabetical order by their first name. When I originally created this daily attendance sheet all I did was add my own roster. So this is before the conditional formatting went in. So I just copied that and pasted it here. There's no yellow highlights. There's no conditional formatting set. The next step of this is to show you how to use conditional formatting to make the attendance piece easier. Rather than having to go through this list I'm going to have student names here highlighted to show me who has not filled out the form and in a sense then not present today. I'm also going to show how to conditionally format this text here so that any of the would love it if you checked on me options stand out to me in red. If I highlight my conditionally formatted data here I would just come up to format and go to conditional formatting and you can see the rule is there. If I click in this rule, you can see the formula that is there. And basically all this means is, is not a match to what's in this column here. So E2 to E22. So that's what I have, E2 to E22. Anything that pops into this column that's right here. So A1 to A50. I don't really need it to be to A50 because I have 21 students in this class. So if I just put this down to 22, that would be fine as well. A1 the whole way through A50 every day. This is my formula that I would use. And then I can make this any color I want. I can make it green. It doesn't have to be yellow. So coming back here, what I would do is I am going to highlight what I want to conditionally format. I'll come to format and do conditional formatting and it automatically opens this up. It says, what do you want to do? And so it already shows me the range that I have here. If I want to do this to multiple ranges, I would just add another range, but the format cells if, and as you can see, that formula is not here. So I need it to be a matching formula. So I'm going to do custom formula and that custom formula is is not a and so I'm going to say is not a match to whatever's in this column Then I'm going to put the parentheses and then I'm going to say what words I need to match and that's my E22 E22 comma and I need it to be not matching this so I want it to pop out whatever color I make it to whatever's not matching in my currently present kids today that is column A from A2 I'm going to put a dollar sign in there so it's continuous A2 to A dollar sign 22 comma zero and then I am going to put the double parentheses but you see they actually already popped up already so there's my absences right here I can make this whatever color I want like done. that's how I pull out my match absences like Shirley Chisholm is not over here. So I am going to conditionally format these responses as well, but I want to pull it down the whole way to wherever all of my students would pull in. So row 22 again. I have this highlighted. I'm going to again come up to format, conditional format, and it already gives me my range, but this one does have the formula that I want and I want text contains. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say today is rough period. I'm going to match that orange. All the today is rough comes out orange. Now I can say done, but I want to do another rule because in that same area I want to do the same thing text contains and I want to say would love it if you checked on me and I'm gonna make that color bright pink so it sticks out I can even make that text whatever I want it to be and then done and then I would just keep adding those rules with text contains so every time somebody entered something here it would be whatever color I designated so on my original one 
in this area, you can see I actually have my four colors right here. I hope you like this option for daily attendance. It makes it so much easier and simpler to take daily attendance and check in with students at the same time. I attended a conference last year. A woman by the name of Adrian Farrow showed some of these strategies and I thought it was wonderful to use. So I hope you like it. I hope it's useful for your class and I hope you find different ways to use it than just simple check-ins or lunch counts.